Hi guys, it's Kara, and here's another look at that gorgeous new Maverick Traveler's Notebook that I have from Chic Sparrow. The video right before this should be my unboxing video of this. And it is now the weekend, which means I'm, I have uh, plenty of time to play around and get this set up. So because I had a couple orders come in that kind of go with this, I thought I would share those with you and then I'll also share kind of all the stuff that I pulled out. Um, I tend to pull out quite a few things to just kind of try and see if I'm going to use it, um, kind of, you know, what order I like things in, what notebooks I'm going to use, all that good stuff. So I have some new stuff, I have some stuff from my stash, and I thought maybe you guys would be interested in seeing that. So I'm going to put this aside. Um, by the way, just in case you have forgotten or haven't seen uh, my previous video, this is a B6 Slim, okay? So the first thing I did was I went to Michael's and I just got a few sheets of 12 by 12 paper to make some dashboards. Um, if you watched my TN video on the memory keeping, you saw that I made a lot of uh, dashboards for that. And those were standard size, so I wanna have some B6 Slim uh, sizes. And yes, I have a ton of paper, I know I do, but I just wanted a few new things. So, um, ones to try out are this gorgeous one, which has plastic on it, so I'm not sure if you're gonna see it, but basically that background is a gray with some really pretty flowers that look like they have some rose gold in them. And then I got just one that looks like white bricks, pink wood planks, some pretty florals, and then this kind of gorgeous watercolory looking uh, floral one. So those are the ones I got to use as possible dashboards. I do have one other one that I set aside because I know I'm gonna use it for a dashboard and it is this one, okay? So I got those and again, these are all from Michaels, um, you know, just bought individually. Then I ordered from um, cute things from Japan and I'll put a link down below. Before I show you the few things I got, I thought I would show you the packaging because Look at all these very cool stamps that I will be getting off of this package to use on a journal page or something. I thought those were awesome. I'm gonna set that aside. And I will um, show some pictures on Instagram of the packaging, but I just wanted to show you what came, um, how it came and what came in it. So it was wrapped in this gorgeous paper. I've got two sides of this. And it was tied with twine the little um, thank you tag on it, so it was really cute. And then inside of it, there was this adorable um, envelope. And when you look inside the envelope, you get, let's see. First, there's this cute little um, thank you card, handwritten thank you card, which will be cute in my journal. And then they have this little um, card where every time you spend a certain amount of money, you get a little sticker for the back and you get a certain discount after a certain amount. Um, this really cute little envelope. And then they also sent a newsletter, which I thought was really cute because they talk about Japan in it um, and all sorts of other good things, which I loved. I thought this was adorable. I actually shared it with a girlfriend who is um, very into all things Japanese and she loved it as well. So I only got a few things from them. They were all paper. I basically bought some B6 Slim uh, MD Midori paper. I bought it in blank and grid, and I'll show it to you guys if you are interested. Let's see. Um, this paper I've been using in an A6 size for a really long time, and I love it. Um, I think it's some of the best paper around. So this is the blank. It's kind of a really nice, light, creamy color. Um, it's relatively thin, but it holds up really well. So I got it in the blank. Uh, I got it in the grid. Um, same size, B6 slim, same number of pages. You can see, oh, that's what the grid looks like. The um, covers, which you cannot see, hang on. Uh, are always blank. You can either buy a plastic cover to cover it up with or you can decorate it yourself, which is what I usually do. And then I got this set of three. 
Okay, you can see those. These are called the MD Notebook Lite, and they come in, I think, grid lined and blank. And I got them in blank because I know I want a blank one in this um, traveler's notebook for sketching and or mixed media, maybe. I haven't decided, but I wasn't sure if I wanted a really thick one or a thin one, so I wanted options. So it's that same wonderful creamy paper. It's just thinner. So for those of you who want a, you know, uh, shorter journal or a journal that's easier to fill up, this is an, an awesome option. Their paper, like I said, is fantastic. It's one of my favorites, if not my favorite. Um, so then I also got a very small order from Taroko, I think is how you pronounce it, Design. This is the first time I've ordered from them. Again, shipping was super fast. I didn't get any paper, I just got a couple things, um, or three things. They had the B6 Slim PVC or plastic um, folder insert. Um, with the zipper case, with the card slots, that kind of thing. So I picked that up because I might possibly want to use that. Uh, they also had a writing board. This is a personal size, but it's pretty close. So I figured if I wanted to use it, um, it would work out pretty well, as you can see. It fits you know, pretty decently on these MD ones. And then I also got one of their craft folders for the B6 slim size, which I haven't taken out yet, but I will show you guys. And um, this actually feels really nice. It's a different feeling material. It almost feels a little bit like, almost feels a little bit like fabric, maybe. I don't know how to describe it, but anyway, that is what I got from them. So then this morning when I got up and knew I was going to be um, setting up the Traveler's Notebook, I went through my boxes of supplies. I have some kind of like photo type of boxes that I keep things in. And I pulled out some other inserts that I already had. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them. I just, again, wanted to have options. So I have one of the idea books. I have this book that I'm pretty sure is from Yellow Paper House. And it has like a, the really thick, you can hear that, mixed media paper. So I might be using that. I have another one, which I think is from the old paper house, which is craft paper, and I may be using that. I have one from Paper Penguin Company, which I believe is also craft paper. Oh, it's craft dotted paper. So I might use that. I have another Paper Penguin Company one. And this is grid, and this is a Tomo, River paper. Now these might be actually personal size because they're a little bit smaller, but I think they'll fit just fine in my B6 Slim, so they're a possibility. And then I have this last little sketchbook, which really isn't a sketchbook. Um, these come in sets of three, or at least did when I bought them from Nanami paper. They're a hard cover. They're very, uh, in my mind, very retro looking, and they have teeny tiny grid paper. So I have one of these left and I might use this in um, this TN. So I've got lots of insert options. Uh, I also have these this Peerless watercolor palette that I set up for my A5 Rotofadden. And I have yet to really thoroughly use it, so I'm thinking I'm going to revamp this into a smaller size. These are just lightly glued down. I'll cut them if I have to, it's not a big deal. Um, but I think I'll, I'll be able to get at least one side off so that I can obviously reuse these because they're double-sided. Um, I might be able to cut them down enough on the edges as well. I haven't, I haven't decided yet, but anyway, I want to reuse this so I, I can have watercolors in the TN, hopefully. And then I have just a few odds and ends. Let's see. Um, I found this um, acetate paper that I had already had cut to the pretty much the right size, so that may be in there. I have a really pretty uh, fabric-ish insert from 
I think it's Odd Girl Journals. I might be getting that wrong. Keely Reichman, I think, is her name. Um, I've had this for a while. I'll have another. That's the one thing I'm missing. I have a fabric folder coming from a different seller, but um, this one's so pretty, I may use both. We'll just have to see. Um, I've shown this to you guys before, but it basically has a zipper pocket. It has room for um, cards if you want it. It has another pocket right here and another little kind of secretarial-like pocket right there. So I have that. I still have some pockets from the Target Dollar section. There's a free floating. Um, I will likely put in a piece of my um, blotting paper. I have pulled a few cute little stickers and page flag type things to use just in case I decide I want them. I pulled a couple of smaller dashboards. This is an A6, I believe. I think these are Foxy Fix, and this is, I think, maybe like a field note size or something close to that. I pulled both of these because I might put uh, pictures of my granddaughters in here, maybe on pattern paper or something, and slip them in there for decoration. I kind of like the idea of there being like uh, different sizes floating around. Um, I'm just not sure if I'm going to do it or not. I have to, you know, once again, I'll play with it and kind of make up my mind and see if I like that kind of thing. But to me, having a different size in there almost gives it a little bit of a junk journal type feel, you know, when things aren't exactly perfectly sized the same way. I pulled out this little uh, small Rhodia paper, grid paper um, notebook. I have something in mind for this, which I will share with you when I show you the um, Traveler's Notebook all set up. I found this uh, Lettermate envelope addressing guide in my Rotofadden as well, so I might um, put that in there. I also found this, um, I think it's called an eraser guide, maybe it's a pencil guide, eraser guide, I can't remember, but I found this in there, which I thought might be good. And of course I've got um, different little clips and things like that that I pulled off of that passport um, TN that I was using. I pulled out a couple elastics in case I want more than four books in there. Um, and then I pulled out a couple bookmarks. One of these gorgeous little knotted ones from Mitts, Handmade by Mitts. It's a really pretty kind of pale brownish color. And then I have this really cute one, which right now I cannot remember where I got it. Uh, but it has charms on the end. And even though it's pink and glittery, it still has kind of a rustic feel because of that charm. So I have all of those things. So that's everything that I'm going to be looking at um, when I decide how I'm setting up my gorgeous new Chic Sparrow from, or Maverick Chic Sparrow. Um, so obviously I'm going to have a busy Saturday, maybe a busy weekend, depending on how much I do all at one time. I have dashboards to make, the watercoloring to figure out. I have to decide if I'm going to decorate those inserts and how, how many inserts I'm going to have, all that good stuff. So once I get it all set up, I will do another video letting you guys see kind of what became of it. Um, I am super excited. I'm really, I'm loving this leather. Um, it's, it's just very cool. It's got that kind of shininess that the Mr. Darcy has, but it's got this great texture that I like so much from my Lily of the Valley Sojourner. Um, so it's, it's for right now, it's feeling like kind of a perfect combo of what I've been liking. So that being said, you guys tell me, what do you think? Did I get enough stuff out? What do you do when you set up a traveler's notebook? Do you pull a lot of things out or are you really focused and you know exactly what you're going to do? I'm always curious to hear. Um, and I think that's it for now, guys. As always, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch the video, and I hope you're having a great day wherever you're at. Bye, everybody.